Okay, Klappe die zweite. <laughs> so, okay, today we're going to um, train a lot our turnout. So what is the turnout before we start with the exercises? Um, you can see the turnout mostly on the feet because the feet are showing outwards, especially the toes, whereas the um, the uh, heel is looking inside. But what's important about the turnout is it's not only about the feet. Actually, we're turning out our whole leg. So we're starting at the hip and turning out the complete leg or the complete legs if we're doing both. And that is called a turnout. So to improve the turnout, because we're going to need it for the spins and especially for the paddling spins, what we're going to do today and also for the one foot spins, and we're going to do some exercise. I'm going to put on some music um, just to make it a little bit more interesting. <laughs> and I'm going to talk on top of the music. So the music should be not too loud right now. Okay, and first we can start sitting on the floor. Mm -hmm. Okay, just sit on the floor. Let's see if you can see my feet. Yes, very good. Okay, and I want you to have both feet just parallel right now to start with. Try to sit upright, straight back. If that's a little bit too much, you can of course support yourselves with your arms. And I want you to lift one leg, turn the complete leg out, in and down, other side, lift, Turn out the complete leg. So make sure you're seeing the inner thigh muscles. Show the inner thigh muscles upwards. Turn back to neutral and down. So the right lift, inner thighs up, neutral and down and left. Turn out, turn back and down a little bit quicker. Lift out in back and lift out in back and lift out in back and lift out in back keep working i'm going to check what you're doing can't see many legs you try to keep the knee straight if possible also crystal <laughs> very good okay almost done each leg twice more and lift turn back down and lift turn back down and lift turn back down last time turn back down okay very good for the next exercise we're going to get a bit more comfortable we're going to lay on our sides if you want you can grab a yoga mat but it's just like we're having four exercises so it should be fine okay what i want you to do is to lift the upper leg you lift you turn out the leg and close again lift turn out turn back and down lift turn out from the hips down and back so when you turn out the leg you bring your inner thighs to the front so i'm like showing you the inner thigh muscles right now very good let's do five more of this side Keep on, keep on, keep on doing it. I'm just going to check. Anki looks very casual. <laughs> um, Elisa, kannst du den Fuß noch mehr strecken? Yes, schön, nice. And we're switching up the sides, other side. So this. Going to lift, turn, turn back and down. Lift, turn. Turn back and try to each time really keep thinking about the inner thigh muscles more than about the foot. The knee and the foot is just straight and stay straight if possible. Yeah, it's very good. Melanie and Christoph sehen auch aus, als würden sie gerade eine lockere Unterhaltung nebenbei führen. Okay, zweimal noch, twice more. Okay, and relax a second. While I'm going to show the next exercise, let me think how you can see it best. This way. 
We're going to lay down on our backs and then I want you to let's see the other leg. Lift the leg, turn out. I hope you can see it and turned out. I'm going to bring it to the side, up, turn back, down. Up, turn out, side, back and down. Okay, let's try together. Uh, such a comfortable beginning of the class, laying on the ground, very good. We're going to lift, turn, side, and back, turn, and down. The other leg, lift, turn, side, back, and down. Maybe we can even skip one step. When you come back, you can just bring it back in the turnout position. Mm, let's keep on doing this exercise. Uh -huh. When you bring the leg to the outside, just go as far as you can without lifting your hips. So both sides of my butt should be staying on the ground. If I'm turning over, then that's too far away. Yeah, besser, besser, besser. Very good, nice. Such a soft song and I'm torturing you. Each leg twice more. Very good, very good. And when you're done, you can just relax the legs one second while I'm showing the last exercise. Good. Okay, let me show you the next exercise, which looks even more stupid. I'm the queen of the stupid looking exercises. <laughs> okay, for the next one, I hope you can see me. Yeah. For the next one, we're going to start with the legs in this frog position. And then we're going to lift the legs in this frog position. And what's important here is look my knees, they can't travel inwards while lifting. My knee has to stay outwards and I want to keep my leg and uh, my foot sorry on this more or less on the same height height, height <laughs> as my knee so this would be the leg going the foot going down I want to keep it more or less at the same line beautiful isn't it very beautiful <laughs> okay your turn yes very good so this is a nice exercise you can do in the morning wake up your hips <laughs> looks very elegant okay each leg three more times but I really think these exercises as stupid as they look are as important as practicing steps and stuff because if our body isn't prepared and physically can't do what we want to do then it also doesn't help to practice steps Okay, very good. And then you can come up. <laughs> this has been some exercises for the turnout. Now I want to do some exercises um, to train the ankle strength and um, to repeat a little bit of the content from last class, okay? But also to train on the content from this class. I want you to have a at least shoulder wide stance, maybe even a bit more. Your legs slightly turned out, really slightly. Okay, now I want you to shift your weight to one leg and the other one lifts, the heel of the other one lifts. And now what we're going to practice is just shifting our weight from one leg to the other. So for example, my left leg is now my sending leg. I'm lifting the heel and sending the leg to my right, which is the receiving leg. And I will controlledly bring down the heel of the right leg. Other side, right is sending, left is receiving. And try to do this as controlled as possible and try to do it with straight legs first. Just changing. Yeah. And I really, really want you to transfer the weight as controlled as possible. So my legs are really working. The sending leg is really pushing to send the weight and the receiving leg is pushing not to receive the weight. Okay. 
Very good. From here, we're going to change this up a little bit. We're going to bring in the bend of the knee now. So my weight is now on my left, left knee is bent. Now I'm going to extend the knee and the ankle joint together. Let's just do this first. Just this first. Okay, now I'm going to send the weight, go up in the middle. So when I'm in the middle with my weight, both my heels are lifted. And now I'm going to receive the weight with the right. I'm first putting the heel down and then the knee. Let's do this part one more time. I'm in the middle. And I'm first putting the heel down and then the knee. Okay, now let's send from the right. Right leg is sending leg. I'm pushing simultaneously, receiving heel knee. Push simultaneously, heel knee. Push, heel knee. Nice. After this, your legs should feel really warm. Okay, just to switch things up, we're going to put one leg to the front and one leg to the back. And we're doing the same exercise. First with straight legs. Straight legs, straight legs, sending and receiving. I really want you to work your foot muscles. So I'm starting to receive the weight in the, to in the toes, ball of the foot, and then only the heel. So really as if the foot was like rolling to receive and also to send. And here, maybe from this angle, you can see it better. I have one leg in front and one back, but still both of my legs are turned out, which provides me a much better stance and better stability and balance. Let's change the legs and let's change also the bend of the knee, okay? So I'm going to start with my left now, which is bent. Again, I'm pushing, going up in the middle, and now I'm receiving, heel goes down, knee bends. Middle, heel knee. Middle, heel knee. This heel knee thing is really, it's almost simultaneously. I'm putting the knee at the heel, knee, it's a combination of knee and heel. <laughs> I'm putting the heel down just like a millisecond before I bend the knee. Yeah, sehr gut. Christoph, das ist übrigens eine super Übung, glaube ich, für dich. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Very well done. You can shake out your legs if you want. Okay. I'm going to, do you have any questions before I start talking? No. So these are some exercises you can do to improve the strength of your ankles and the turnout. Um, which comes from the glutes and also from the um, all the little hip muscles, so the muscles between hip and leg. Okay, um, so before we actually start talking about the pedaling turn, we're going to repeat just a little bit what we did last class, okay? Last class we were talking about general techniques and balance. And an exercise you can do to improve your balance, obviously, is staying on one leg, which should be still, I think, quite easy. To make it harder, you can do different things. First of all, you can close your eyes, which will definitely help to get more proprial reception. Maybe you will feel your ankle and your foot muscles working. Try the other leg. This is a very good exercise also to waken up the receptors, very good. Okay, good, open your eyes again. <laughs> I think this exercise is still quite easy. With the eyes closed, it's much harder already. But what we're doing mostly when we're spinning. So leaders do sometimes for a styling turn on their heels, 
or maybe followers on West Coast, maybe as well, but that's generally just styling. Usually when we turn, we lift the heel and we turn on the ball of our foot, correct? Leaders and followers, doesn't matter. And to train our stability in this position, what we can do is the same exercise we just did, but on point. And what I want you to think about is, what sometimes happens is when you lift your heel, you shift your weight forwards and then you almost fall forwards. This is something very common. What I want you to do is to think to go straight up. You don't want to go forward, you want to go straight up. Maybe can you, könnt ihr seitlich stehen? Dann kann ich das so ein bisschen besser sehen wie euer Gewicht. Ja, perfekt, 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 perfekt. And try to stay up. Two seconds and then you go down control. Very good. And every once in a while you can change your leg. And what's important in that one is you try to observe which leg is better than the other. And the one that's worse, you're going to train it twice more often than the good leg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good. Perfect. Okay. Obviously, you can do this with the eyes closed as well, <laughs> which is very hard. But really, what matters is not going super high. What matters is more trying to stay here. And to be able to stay, what you want you to do is you want to contract the abdominal muscles. So um, like bringing the hips up or closing uh, the jeans, <laughs> okay? And engage the glutes a little bit, chest up, head long or neck long actually. And this is the posture you want to work on. Shoulders back, abdominals, glutes, long neck. Maybe you want to use your ballet arms and then you try to stay. Okay, very good. Very good, G. Okay, this was one of the exercises from last class. And for dancing, generally, so in the zoo class we just did, we actually did staying in the leg, lifting, and then going around. But usually when we spin, what we do is we project our weight from one leg to the other, and then we spin. So we need to keep our balance after projecting the weight. So what I want you to do right now is you stay, for example, on your right, you transfer the weight and stay for one, two seconds. Stay, 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 stay. Okay, then maybe you can go from the back to the leg, front to the leg and other side. Okay, just a small repetition. There was someone wanting to enter the class, but where is he? Okay, very good. Try the other leg if you didn't do so already. And you see this also has to do a lot with the sending and the receiving leg. And usually for spins, I would say less momentum, less power. So what usually happens is that you use too much force and then you fall to the side. Try to use as less force as possible to, to get on the leg. Yes, very good. Mm -hmm. Good, good, good. Then let's see what else we're going to repeat. We're going to repeat just one little, one more thing before we move on to the actual paddling spins. We did the spotting last time and we're going to work on that quickly. So you can put your hands here or here. Doesn't really matter. What I want you to do is you turn either direction, watching um, the video or the laptop as long as possible. And then when you can't go anymore, you first use your head and then the rest of your body. Head is the last to go, the first to arrive. <clears throat> Very good. And change the um, spinning direction. So this spotting technique 
can really help you to get less dizzy. Yeah, very good. Very good. Okay. So I already told you, if you're a Mzook dancer, <laughs> we're first going to practice the spotting and use the spotting whenever we can. And then we're going to work on tilted turns and then you need to forget um, the spotting. <laughs> But whenever we can, we do the spotting so it gets easier to stay stable and not to get dizzy. This was repetition of the first part of last week's class. Um, for the rest, you can just check the uploaded class, but I think that was the information we're going to need today. Do you have any questions until here? No. Okay. Then we're going to start on paddling turns. Yay. <laughs> so what is that thing? Um, I think other people call it paddling spins or maybe there are other names for this. Um, a paddling spin or turn is every turn you do staying on one leg as axis. For example, I'm going to stay on my left and the other leg goes around to give you the power for the spin, okay? This is... Uh, for example, also an easy way to start with one foot spins. Uh, and the paddling spin is often not really practiced, but I think it's really important and I'm going to show you why. First of all, because almost all our basics, for example, salsa basic turn is actually a paddling spin. So we could very well train it. <laughs> um, then also, for example, in Brazilian Zouk, if you're dancing Brazilian Zouk, when you're doing rotisserie turns, for example, it's mostly paddling spins. And it's a practice that's not really trained very often. So we're going to change that. Okay, we're first going to do a little exercise on the paddling spin, how not to do it, okay? <laughs> what I want you to do is imagine uh, you are at least 200 kilos heavy and you're going to transfer your weight from one leg to the other while you're spinning. So for example, I'm staying with my left more or less on the same spot, but I'm transferring my weight to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left, like a dancing bear. Yes, very good. Or like a penguin. Melanie looks a little bit like a penguin. That's perfect for this exercise. <laughs> okay, change the direction, just. Okay. And that is what we don't want for the paddling spin. It's a very common um, mistake, for, especially in dancing beginners. And we're going to change that now. So now I want you to imagine the following thing. So now we're not 200 kilos heavy, we are 10 kilos heavy. Um, and now let's imagine underneath your left foot, there is a chewing gum underneath. So the foot needs to stay here. And you also can't switch your weight to the right. The right is almost like a, wie sagt man das auf Englisch? Ein Roller, ein Tretroller, okay. It's just going to have like 10% of my body weight just in order to turn me around. Just this, okay. Try this, yes, very good, looks good. Um, be careful, I'm seeing it in some of you, be careful not to be tilted to your left side. Try to really stay upright. Yeah, besser, besser, besser. And the other leg and other direction. We're going to get more serious, serious right now, I promise. Okay, very good, okay. So I think all of you do already have dancing experience. So until here, I think that was quite easy. So now it's going to get a little bit more difficult. Maybe I'm going to use an object. Uh, my soap bar. Um, to train the following thing. And maybe you have an object as well at home that you can try. I was thinking about a ball, but maybe a ball is too difficult. I'm going to put the object in front of the heel of my standing leg. My left is my standing leg. 
What I want you to do is we're going to do the paddling spin and my heel is lifting a little bit off the floor and the heel is going first. So I try to put the soap around my leg as far, or maybe you could use ein Sockenknäuel zum Beispiel, ginge dafür auch. Or also without an object. The idea is my heel goes to the front first. Why am I doing this? While you're practicing, keep on practicing. I'm talking while you practice, multitasking. The idea is to keep the standing leg externally rotated. And with the idea of the heel going to the front, this is easier. And we're going to need this technique also for, not only for paddling spins, but also for one foot spins later and every other turn as well. Okay, very good. Let's train the other leg. Same thing on the other leg. Okay, and while we are on the other, uh -huh, uh -huh. Mm, okay, stop a second. I'm already seeing a little a usual mistake that happens. So my right is my standing leg right now. And what I see some of you doing is your first turning your body and then your leg, body, leg. What I want you to do is that this leg is externally rotated and really connected to my body. So each time that I turn, my leg turns with my body, with my body instead of body, leg, okay? Yeah, better, 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 better. Das sieht jetzt ein bisschen, oh, this looks a little bit stiff now, but I promise it's going to get better. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right now, I want you to try out on both legs the difference between your standing leg being bent. For me, this is much easier. And the standing leg being completely straight. For me, for me, this one is much, much harder. But each of them works, yes. And try the other leg. And while you're training this exercise, I'm going to give you more information. I don't know if you personally dance with heels or with flat shoes. I do both, but I prefer heels just because I'm very small. And if you usually dance with heels, you can start doing all the exercises we're doing right now with the heel lifted way higher. Because later in heels, we also need to lift the heel much more. If you usually dance in flats, you can relax a little bit more. We still keep the heel off the ground, but maybe not so much. Okay, just side information. Mm -hmm. Okay. Lasst mich mal ganz kurz gucken noch, was ihr macht. Falls ihr könnt, ähm, könnt ihr eure Kamera, ich sehe auch gerne eure reizenden Gesichter, aber für gerade wäre besser, wenn ich die Füße hier sehen würde. Also falls ihr die Möglichkeit habt, die Kamera runterzustellen, wäre das super. Yes, top. <lacht> genau, wenn ihr zwischendurch mal eine Pause braucht, dann könnt ihr die natürlich jederzeit nehmen. Ja, sieht super aus, sieht super aus. Okay. Okay. Ähm, Elisa, kannst du noch mehr versuchen, du bist, hast es gerade schon im rechten Fuß gedreht, glaube ich, ne? Ähm, noch mehr versuchen, die, die Ferse oder das ganze Bein zusammen mit deinem Körper zu drehen, dass nicht dein Körper zuerst dreht und dann erst die Ferse nachkommt. Nimm dir ruhig Zeit, mach das super langsam. Yeah. Ja, schau mal, guck mal, was ähm, noch passiert bei dir. Äh, gerade nutzt, ne, rechts ist jetzt ein Standbein, rechts ist mein Standbein, gerade nutzt du das freie Bein, um zu kreuzen und dann zu drehen. Kreuzen, drehen. Da rede ich sowieso gleich noch drüber. Ich switche mal kurz auf Englisch. We don't want to cross and then turn, but I want to use this free leg to give myself energy to turn on my standing leg. So I'm giving myself energy, I'm pushing to turn on the standing leg. Maybe. Okay, let's talk already about the next topic because I think this can help with this one. Let's now talk, we talked a lot about the standing leg, let's go to the free leg now. Mm, how often or how, in which way can we use the free leg? So the ideal would be that the free leg also keeps turning around my body and being like super stiff now in the same proportion as my body. So when my body turns, my legs goes 
with the body. Maybe try this, even though it looks super stiff, but just try this. So in order to achieve this, I cannot only use my free leg to push myself, but I also have to use really the force of my standing leg to push the heel forwards. I need to use both. Yeah, looks super stupid, but that's the goal. Antje, das sieht sehr steif aus, also perfekt. <laughs> okay, perfect. Later on in real dancing, um, this isn't as easy and sometimes not as practical. So we're going to switch it up a little bit. If you need more force from your free leg instead of using your standing, uh, instead of using your standing leg only, what you can do is you can push yourself with your free leg, my right is my free leg right now, and then bring the leg later. Also, ich versuche mal kurz auf Deutsch, vielleicht könnt ihr das dann besser verstehen. Ich schicke mich von, der Rech von dem rechten Bein und ich kann so ein bisschen die Hüfte jetzt vordrehen. Seht ihr das? Jetzt dreht sich die Hüfte ein bisschen, ohne dass mein Bein mitkommt. Und dann muss ich das Bein aber mitbringen. So what cannot happen, ah, maybe this is a good side to see it. So this can happen. Did you see my hip go and then my leg? What cannot happen is that I'm completely crossing and then bringing the leg. Because this will kill the momentum later in real life dancing. This will kill the momentum. And what also shouldn't happen is first cross and then turn. For some specific techniques we're using this. Yes, for some specific techniques, but generally not. Okay, so try to think a little bit more about your sending leg. You can switch up whenever you want, standing leg and sending leg. And then we're getting a new exercise. Very good, G, yes, okay. I think you all got the idea. Elisa sieht super aus jetzt. Perfekt, genau das. Okay, I think you all got the idea. Yeah? So now we're going to be a bit more difficult. So usually a question that I get a lot is how often should I use the free leg, the sending leg? Should I use it like every uh, half turn? This would be using every half turn. Or should I only use it after one turn? This depends a lot. This depends on the speed of the movement, on your ability to turn on one leg, and also on the kind of movement. Later, for example, for rotisserie turns, it's obviously different than for normal turns. First practice we're going to do is we're going to use the leg every half turn. So right now I'm facing the exit. I'm doing a half turn, putting the leg down, half turn again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, super. Yeah, 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 super. And respecting always the standing leg as well. Yeah. Then and switch switch up the leg and switch up the turning direction. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. Let's do it a little bit harder. This is already a little bit going into the one foot spin practice, but for some movements, also sometimes for the rotisserie turn, we do a complete spin before we put down the leg. So right now I'm facing um, the exit. My sending leg is on my right, my free leg. I'm going to do a complete turn and then I'm going to put down the free leg. Yeah, nice. So there's a lot of other techniques like torso preparation and so on going into that as one. This is almost, you ca almost can call this one foot spin instead of paddling turn. Okay, switch up the sides. Mm -hmm. Nice, okay, perfect. So what we did right now, the whole time of the class, was turning what I call turn frontwards. So there is the ballet terminology, uh, dehors and en dehors, but I always get lost with this. <laughs> so I do rather say turning frontwards and turning backwards. So if my left leg is my standing leg and I'm turning to my left side, then I'm turning frontwards because I'm going with my chest into the turning direction. 
or if I'm on my right leg and I turn to my right side, chest goes first. So I would consider this a frontwards turn. And when I'm turning backwards would be left leg, right turn. So my back goes first and the other way around. So we didn't practice any backwards turns until now. So we're going to do that. So for the backwards turns, also important, my left is my standing leg, that I keep my leg externally rotated. So right now I want your heels to be lazy. Now the heels is going really lazy. And then we can practice backwards spins, doing a paddle every half turn, every half turn paddling. This is way harder. You can bend or straighten your standing leg, whichever is better for you. It's harder, isn't it? Yeah, I see you as well harder, yeah. And of course, switch up sides. And especially if you really want to try to stay on the axis of your standing leg instead of doing the dancing bear. <laughs> yeah. Antje, du verlierst jetzt so ein bisschen von der externen Rotation von deinem Standbein, ne? aber uh, no worries, die Vorwärtsdrehungen sahen alle richtig super aus. Ja, besser jetzt, aber besser, besser, super. Ja, way to go, very good. Ja, Elisa, super. Ich glaube, dir liegt Rückwärtsdrehen fast mehr als Vorwärtsdrehen. Wo kommt das denn her? So ein Bachata-Ding vielleicht. Okay. So, ähm, um, at least in Brazilian Zouk, very often the follower can decide for herself if she's doing a paddling spin frontwards or backwards. Or actually the decision we can make as follower in Brazilian Zouk is which leg we are using as standing leg. Very often, not always, but very often, especially when it comes to more advanced stuff like this, or maybe tilted turns very often we can decide which leg will be our standing leg and usually I personally always choose when I turn to the left to have the left leg as standing leg so I can turn frontwards when I turn to the right I use my right leg as standing leg okay just as reference but if you for example Elisa if you think turning backwards is easier go for it now so this was the technical part. I want to use the last minutes to show you some exercises from some dances. I dance. Antje, was tanzt du denn nochmal? Das weiß ich gerade gar nicht. Vielleicht kannst du entweder in den Chat tippen. Um, Bei den anderen weiß ich. Ja, ja ich äh, tanze Salsa, Bachata und habe mit Zug angefangen. Sehr gute Entscheidung, Supi. Dann aus ne, Bachata habe ich heute kein Beispiel. So today I brought some examples from Brazilian Zug. Uh, salsa, I could do for her, but maybe I skip for her because there's no for her dances here. And uh, Melanie, I brought sugar tuck. If I'm doing anything wrong, you will correct me, okay? From West Coast Swing. <laughs> so in all of these dances, for example, let's start with salsa. I think all of us are dancing salsa, yeah? So we're going to do one basic step. One, two, three, five, six, seven. And now, we can do a basic spin to the right. One, two, three, five, six, seven, and uh, sorry, one, two, three, sorry, five, six, seven. On five, six, seven, we're going to do the basic spin. Let's do it together one time. We're going to do one basic with the left to the front. Seven, eight, and one, two, three, five, six, seven. So now we're going to do basic turn to the right. One, two, three, and five, six, uh, sorry, uh, too much zook in my head. One more time. Basic. One, two, three, five, six, right turn. And one, two, three, and back. Five, six, seven. Okay. So what are we doing here? When we're doing the salsa basic spin, we're actually doing a paddling turn. Do you see? I'm using my right as standing leg. I'm going to the left just to push me to turn around. One, two, three, and five, six, seven. Let's do it together. Thinking about mainly, I want you to think about keeping the right leg that you are pushing externally rotated. Okay, one basic step and then basic turn to the right. Seven, 
eight and one, two, three. Here we go and turn right now. And back we go, basic step. Here we go with right and, and turn back to the front. Uh -huh. Keep going, keep going. Yes, very good. Yeah, and think about the right leg staying externally rotated. Christoph kriegt jetzt, nee, Christoph tanzt ja auch bei mir Zeitbar, stimmt. Oh, alles halt sehr easy. You could also do the left turn if you want. I don't know if you all, how much basics you all know about salsa, but obviously we could also do the left turn. We prepare and now my right leg again stays externally rotated and now my left turn and my left leg. Three, five, six, seven, front, back, back, front. Same thing. Yes, yes, looks very good. I should have made you make you do the um, basics before training those exercises because this looks very good. And I'm not sure if it was that good in the beginning as well, but now looks very good. Okay, salsa, abgeschlossen. Let's try Brazilian soup now. <laughs> Um, we're going to do side base and then we're going to spin to the left and again we could um, use what we've learned now for the paddling spin. I'm going to the left for direction and I'm going to use the right leg to give me power direction and turn and give me power to the front. I'm going to show you once continuously and left, right, left. Okay, what we're we doing is, let me think, left three. We're going to do one, two, and three, four, and, and then we're going to spin, okay? Together, slowly. Left three. We do one, two, and three. Let's turn, and five, turn, land, basic to the side. Basic to the side, let's turn, here we go. And left, turn, and right. And remember that we're doing this turn with the leg, especially the left, externally rotated. Let's turn one more time, and left, turn, and right. Keep on working so I can see what you're doing. Yeah, the two pass, the two pass. Nice. And I've got two more minutes. So I'm going to use this two more minutes to give you an example of West Coast swing. And Melanie, I'm very probably going to do it wrong. Very probably. <laughs> and bachata, I do also have bachata exercise or examples in the next class. With traveling spins, we're going to um, see some bachata examples. Okay, West Coast swing sugar attack. Let's think, okay, I'm as fall, dancing as follower. My right is free. I would do one, two, three, and four, five, and six. Alles richtig? Mm, yeah, okay, mehr oder weniger, es reicht. <laughs> okay, what I want you to think about here is we're going one, two. Now, when you go to your right, you're pushing yourself with the right and the left now is doing the paddling spin backwards externally rotated and go back. Okay, let's try together even if you don't dance West Coast Swing, we just try, okay? And if you don't dance West Coast Swing, learn West Coast Swing. Promotion, I'm not even teaching this, but well, <laughs> here we go. Right is free and I'm going to count uh, one, two, three and four, five and six. Here we go, seven, eight and one, two, and three and turn five and six one more time here we go and eins zwei triple step and triple last time and step step triple step anchor step oh that's good felt me on with these west coast swing <laughs> yeah very good very good very good Okay, just to bring some examples for real life paddling spins. 
<laughs> As I told you, the traveling spins um, is also super interesting, especially in bachata and in Brazilian zouk and also in West Coast swing. In salsa, not uh, salsa as well. Inside turn, outside turn is also traveling spins. So that's what we're going to see next class. But I really don't want you to forget a paddling spin because as soon as we're going to the tilted turns or the rotisserie turns, we're definitely going to need, to need the paddling turns. Actually, today I was training a choreography with a team here in Madrid and um, we needed paddling turns. So I don't want you to forget about this. Do you have any questions? <laughs> Lisa kommt angerannt. <laughs> exactly, you can put it in there. Training heels or flats? Very good question. I would always say if you feel a little bit unstable generally, especially Zouk with the head movements, I would first start in flats. And then as soon as you think, okay, I'm more or less stable with the um, head movements and the spins and stuff, then change to, to heels and learn everything again. Yay. Um, but really, I think that's the better order because then your ankle can um, strengthen up and your whole body can already start learning the technique. In your case, Elisa, for example, du tanzt ja schon mehrere Sachen. Ne? Also wenn es jetzt nicht um ganz normale Drehungen handelt, dann kannst du auf jeden Fall das auch in Heels üben. Und dann, wenn du merkst, okay, bei Kopfbewegungen und Drehungen mit Kopf, da wird es aber noch ein bisschen knifflig, dann kannst du das ja vielleicht erstmal auf flachen Schuhen machen, bis du dich dann ein bisschen sicherer fühlst und dann umswitchen auf Heels. Beantwortet das die Frage? Top. Other questions? Okay, so for everyone who is a Tanzraum member, this class should be uploaded at Tanzraum uh, member area. If that doesn't happen, uh, remind me or Patrick to upload the class. It's usually one of us to forgetting uh, to upload it. <laughs> I'm sending it to Patrick and sometimes I'm forget forgetting to send it and Patrick forgets to upload. <laughs> and for everyone else who's not a Tanzraum mitglied, I'm putting this video in the Facebook private group. So only the persons that pay for the class obviously get access to the Facebook private group. If I didn't um, send you an invitation yet, just um, remember, then I don't mich einfach dran. Ich vergesse Sachen. <laughs> okay, ihr Lieben. Sehr schön, dass ihr da wart. Ich hoffe, es war nicht zu abstrakt. Ich wollte eigentlich zwischendurch ein bisschen mehr Musik anmachen, aber um, dann war es doch so viel Übungssachen, dass es dann ohne Musik geblieben ist. Ich hoffe, das ist okay so. Um, es wird aber vor allem nächste, ab, ich glaube, ab der nächsten Class wird es ein bisschen weniger abstrakt und ein bisschen konkreter mit noch mehr Beispielen. Gerade bei Traveling Spins kann man tausend Beispiele bringen ähm, und die dann auch tatsächlich mit Musik üben. Da müsste ich aber mal vorbereiten, dass ich auch eine Salsa und so weiter auf meinem Laptop habe. Aber das ist ja easy machbar. Okay, vielen Dank, ihr Lieben, dass ihr da wart. Ich freue mich sehr, das mit euch abends zu machen. Wer will, kann jetzt gleich noch mit mir sporteln und ansonsten sehen wir uns nächste Woche. Tschüssi! Mm-hmm. <laughs>